Welcome back to my channel. Christmas is over and the new year has begun. And if you're like me, I'm ready to start looking at ways to reinvigorate my home. So today we're going to explore some inspiration of beautiful interiors and gather a few tips with the magic of patterns, color, contrast, and scale. We'll explore how to play with patterns to add depth and character, choosing the perfect color palette to evoke the right mood, creating jaw-dropping contrast for that wow factor, and mastering scale to make your space feel truly dynamic and inviting. So if you're excited to embark on this creative journey with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like if you're ready for some serious design inspo, and ring that bell to stay updated on all upcoming videos. Here you can see the wallpaper emphasizes the scale of the double height entry and lays the foundation for the color palette of the entire home. The space under the stairs is transformed into a destination with the addition of a settee. Every element brings this bedroom's large volume into a comfortable scale. Not every piece has to be grand. Bed hangings are added to the four poster bed for comfort and the small scale check balances the large scale botanical print on the walls. A comfortable seating group in front of the window offers a perfect spot for reading. When you have a large vaulted ceiling, it's very important to add light at different levels. Overhead, eye level, and reading does more than just add function. It helps to tame the scale and create comfort. The play of botanical prints against the large scale fig leaf design and graphic quality of the wallpaper energizes this space. Bed curtains made from floral fabric and a small pattern paper on the walls create a beautiful combination of different scales, patterns, and soft palettes. The tabletop lamp adds more curves to the mix of shapes, while also supplementing the pinpoint glow from reading lights placed by the headboard. In searching for artwork for a particular room, many factors must be considered. Composition, color, and medium all play a role, but perhaps the most important and often neglected is scale. The artwork needs to stand up to the size of the wall, the height of the ceiling, and the other decorative elements. So many of this room's shapes and patterns pick up on decorative motifs without repeating them verbatim. Always throw an oddball pattern into every room. In this case, the iCat pillow picks up the color palette in an unexpected way. The bed linens and the simple cotton coverlet is a perfect match. The mix of patterns is fun, young, and youthful. Textured walls and a cozy woven rug help turn this bedroom into a serene private retreat. Mounting the curtains at the 11 foot high crown emphasizes the lofty ceiling height and brings coziness to the otherwise large windows. The striped rug in the entrance hall picks up the rhythm of the stair balusters and balances the pattern on the settee. Bare windows help ensure that the family room feels seamlessly connected to the outdoors. The scale and color of wallpaper is so large it almost disappears. The photograph adds another layer to the indoor-outdoor motif. Contrast and scale are the keys to successfully mixing patterns. Here you will see mixed florals with geometrics and oversized prints with small all-over ones. They are balanced by the solid textural white linen of the upholstered bed frame. When using a large scale pattern like the wallpaper, calm it down with a solid, carefully imbalanced in terms of scale and color. All the fabrics in the room pull elements from nature. Contrast is a fundamental principle in interior design that involves incorporating differences in elements to create visual interest highlight focal points, and add depth to a space. Here the entry hall both connects to and contrasts with the rest of the rooms. The decision to lacquer the paneled hallway from previous 
was made in concert with choosing white Venetian plaster walls for the living room. Variety is the spice of life, and in this living room, different patterns, colors, textures, periods, and style work and play together harmoniously. The decoration in this room walks the line between formal chic and casual with a Russian inspired cabinet, which is not pictured unfortunately, the rush rug, the rattan seating, matchstick shades, and fabric panels lining the walls. Including a desk in the living room is a great place to work or take a call and it can serve as a place to rest a tray during parties. A chair can also be pulled into the room as needed. Every house and each room in it benefits from contrast. Of course, contrast can come in many different forms and it need not be obvious or extreme. Color, pattern, material, scale, all are key factors. Pair light with dark and old with new. In dining rooms, this might mean an antique table with contemporary chairs or vice versa. The contrast continues with rustic stained floorboards that make the highly lacquered walls and empire chandelier shine. The painting with colors from across the spectrum is part of what makes it stand out so brilliantly against the solid walls. In design and decoration, contrast and balance go hand in hand. When done in harmony, the rooms sing. Here, a table setting that elevates the everyday. The bamboo flatware and raffia placemats lighten the formality of the dining room. The photo collage print above the fireplace with a gnarled ceramic garden stool offers an interesting contrast to the library's classical framework. The aubergine lacquered room's intensity is balanced with contrasting shades of green, blue, and white that reach into the details everywhere. People often worry that dark walls will close in a space, but the opposite is true. In this room, the deep brown walls recede, letting the furniture and the artwork stand out. Don't be afraid to be bold in the dining room. It's not an everyday space, so color choices can be more dramatic especially given that they are often viewed at night and by flattering candlelight. Introducing one informal, almost rustic element can make an otherwise formal room feel inviting. Framed by hand embroidered silk curtains, the bamboo matchstick shades serve that purpose here. Pops of red enliven the blues and greens. In this breakfast room, the red in the floral print and the light fixture give all the blue and white an extra shot of energy. The cotton trim on the Roman shade makes this boy's room look tailored and masculine. The Prussian blue lamp is one connective thread that helps tie the entire house together. Upholstering the bed in the same fabric as the walls add a playful note. The nursery's wallpaper is in soothing blues and grays. The ceiling is treated as a fifth wall with a high gloss paint to suggest greater height. The overhead fixture fits the room scale beautifully. The layered rugs are perfect for playtime. Splashes of primary colors and a variation of faux bois wallpaper add personality to the cheerful bedroom. Faux bois refers to the artistic imitation of wood or wood grains. The palette for this room is a fresh one with a combination of orange and blue. The tape trim on the room's molding lend a masculine but youthful touch. The balloon photographs fit the room's lighthearted spirit. Brilliant reds, turquoise blues, and yellows offer a fun, different take on the classic boys' room palette. In this bedroom, a striped fabric allows you to make the same design point of letting one element take the lead. The airplane prints play into the same spirit. 
For the little boy that loves cars, begin with the prints and layer in more fun color with turquoise and lime green accents. Children's rooms inevitably need to change as the children grow, so economic practicalities always come into play. Pick one element in a room and do it well, and let it be the star. In this room, the lotus wallpaper serves that purpose. The room is pink and grounded with gray accents. Fun, girly headboards help tame the room scale. The view into the rooms beyond, the scenic wallpaper of the hall and the bright blue lacquer of the dining room, is as important as the room itself. Plants and flowers bring a room to life, and an embroidered tape trim adds definition to the ivory wool curtains. Quadro pillows and the chair's blue silk eye cat participates in the room's pattern play. The trestle dining table of reclaimed barnwood brings in a farm country feeling, the perfect contrast to the lacquer walls. Wainscoting with wallpaper or paint above gives this entrance hall architectural presence. An antique Venetian mirror and vintage rattan bench make a statement about a desire to live with history and tradition in a modern way. The art collages command the wall with powerful understated style. Since the sofa's small all over pattern reads almost as a neutral, it adds to the visual interest without being distracting. In this room, a study in black, white, and gray form and geometry take precedence over color. The scenic wallpaper, French limestone, and wrought iron console table adds to the park and garden motif. The painting at the end of the stairs introduces a pleasingly sharp modern contrast. In this room, the floral curtains bring the view inside. The painting introduces a bold abstract note into the mix of more traditional shapes and patterns. Here the lacquered peacock blue walls and the saturated shade of red as intense as the blue of the walls provide just the right amount of contrast. In this dining room, a masculine tape on the curtains tames the prettiness of the romantic floral fabric. At the baseboard and ceiling, the nail head tape introduces a hint of aubergine. The back of the bonnet top cabinet was upholstered in an Indian block print to bring it into the 21st century. Organic meets abstract in this paneled library. The neutral antelope rug is a stark contrast to the graphic print over the fireplace. As I mentioned earlier, it's important to have a decorative thread running through your home. Here, the Prussian blue ceramic table lamp calls out to the lacquered wall panels. The painting next to the lamp marries the two spaces through color. Connecting each interior vista to the next one and those beyond creates a visual continuity that instills comfort and make the house feel finished. A lantern ties the bedroom vestibule to the adjoining room with a smaller scale version of the Indian block print pattern used for the bedroom's curtains. It is the continuity of color and pattern that weaves the two rooms together. The importance of artwork to making a room feel finished cannot be overstated. Art does not always mean paintings, prints, or pieces that hang flat on a perimeter wall. Layering three-dimensional artworks, like the wire sculpture, into a room's interior can energize a negative space.
passion for collecting beautiful things gives a home so much personality. Displaying the individual pieces together in just the right setting makes the entire collection shine.